Hey YouTubers, it's Mark, and I'm in Soul 744. And this is the picture from uh, NASA JPL, and uh, we're going to take a closer look. I'm going to take it into Photoshop, and uh, you know, we'll go from there. I think I found something that's pretty... Uh, pretty unique it's pretty interesting and uh, let's take a look all right here we are in Photoshop this is the object in question I mean, right here it looks like there was a little skull with this I had to play uh, with the exposure the gamma a little bit uh, you know, brightness, contrast, you know, everybody's computer is going to be different, everybody's screen settings are going to be different, and I always tell people, please make sure you're watching these videos in high def, number one, there's a little setting on the uh, YouTube browser, and, uh, you know, just, it does make a difference, and you may have to tweak, you know, a lot of my, uh, you know, my hardcore viewers say, you know, hey, listen, I tweak, uh, you know, my brightness and contrast on my monitor. And, uh, you know, it's amazing, you know, the way everything just pops all of a sudden. You know, everybody's, everybody's computer is different. You know, that's just the way it's set up, you know. You may not like the brightness blasted. You may have the contrast up or down, you know. So you may have to play with your settings a little bit. Usually the anomalies that I show you, I try to make sure no matter what, if you're on a phone, tablet, you know, that they're going to pop and you're going to see it. That's why until recently I was using a handheld camera because I was able to get really close and detailed with it. You know, it was shaky, but like I tell everybody, listen, I'm not making a motion picture. I'm here to document anomalies. You know, and I'm gonna use whatever I can to get to get them to come out. And I like this object. Like I uh, screencast o -matic, um I I bought uh, just you know about a month ago, and I've been playing around with it. And it I'll tell you, it's one of the best. I've bought probably about six or seven different screen capture software, and something with the compression or whatever it is. They just never came, you know, came out to my liking. And Screencast-O-Matic is, I give it an A+. Plus. I love it. Look at this item coming out. You can see where, this is all fake sand here. You can even see, like, these are not even rocks. I mean, look at this stuff. They try to make it look like rocks, but see how you can see through the blur here? You see these? See how they cut this right off here? See this? right across here it's cut off Do you see these carvings in here I mean look at this you can actually see right through what there but at a, at a distance you know the original size of this picture you'll never notice these things unless you're zooming in like I am and really tearing these pictures apart like, look at look at the structure in this stuff I mean this is just not happening actually and we know that by now we know what NASA's up to. You know, my hardcore viewers know I made my point a long time ago. Now it's just a matter of when they're going to announce something, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, there's not much more that I could do in the guys and girls that do this stuff. Now, look at this site. Look at this. They This whole area, you can see where they put these lines through it. And Now... This is what I take it to be. Like I say, you know, I may see something, you may see something, but what we all have to agree on is that it's all very strange. Now, look at this. Here's, I take to be an eye, an eye, you can see they carved in pupils. Look at the mouth, right? And you can see the head. Look at the cool carving they got on the back of the head of this statue. Then it comes down, you can see the back of the statue. 
Now to look where the arms should be, it actually looks like there's beads coming out of it. You see it? Down to here. You see? And then you come over here. There's an eye, there's an eye, the nose, the mouth. There's another carved skull. Look at all, see all these lines? When they want to hide something, they put these lines in. It's pretty effective, I'll tell you. Here's another little statue that's coming out. You can see all these very strange, very, very, very strange. Look at this piece. This I do not take to be a rock. Now, you gotta just, it's ridiculous because look at this, how pitch black it is, okay? If this rock has no sunlight and it's pit, this pitch black, then how can this piece be lit here? You know, most people don't notice this, and it's not that. You know, I'm more intelligent than anybody, or, you know, I got a better eye than anybody. You know, NASA just gambles on that people take one quick look at these pictures, you know, and that's it. They're on their way, you know. This is what NASA's gambling on. People op open this picture up, and that's it. Now, this is the area that I'm working on here, okay? Now, tell me. This is what NASA is just get shooting for. People are downloading this picture and they're taking a quick look and they're on their way. And that's it. It's game over. You know, they're most people are not doing what I do and the guys and girls that do this. Now look at this piece here. Look at the carvings in this rock. You see a little head up here, here's the eyes. You see this? I, I don't, this is not a rock to me. This is like some type of carved gravestone or statue. See how they blurred it all out? And then when you see these lines, see this? Will from What's Up in the Sky 37 calls them blinds. Because they, they do look like window blinds. Look at this little, uh, look at this piece here. See? This is not a rock. See the the blur the blocking they're putting in here? The blocking and blurring. Look at this piece back here. It's got a hole in the center. It looks like a sprocket or a star. See all the carvings in this front? Or stone or but it's not a solid rock, see? How could this be black, right? See this is not lit. But this rock here is lit. This is blasted by sunlight, right? But this part here is not. Look at these perfect circles. I mean, there's a lot of really cool stuff in this picture. I can't go over all of it, but I mean, we'd be here for a couple hours. It's just, uh, you know, I just really feel that it's time that NASA comes clean. I mean, it's almost embarrassing that our government uh, is treating us like children, little child, you know, like we're their children. Trust me, we can handle... Uh, we can handle the truth, and the people that can't, well, the hell with them. Okay, look at the carvings in this, if this is really a block. But. So all the carvings, look at this. This here really caught my attention, too, because look at how round 
perfectly round that it is. See this? This area right here, you see how it's rounded? And there's all types of carvings up in here. Now, see how this looks like an eye? I'm taking it, there's another eye here somewhere. But this is some type of head that maybe fell over. See, that would be the nose, the mouth area. This would be like the neck or the base. See if you flip this over. It really does look like this would be an eye. See right here? You could see the there would be another eye, the nose, the mouth area. And you see all these cool carvings? Like if you flip this over. And here, look at this. That's another cool. See this? This is see how they make this? They want us to believe it's a rock, right? But you could see right through it. Look, here's like some type of bent piece of metal or bar or something that comes out, and then it's back here. All right, guys. This was my main concern today. This right here. You see, these are the two eyes, the mouth. There's something carved back here. You see, the body comes down. And look at this, it looks like beads where the arm would be. It looks like beads or whatever you want to call them coming out of there. This to me, I take this to be like an urn that's sitting right next to it. You see the top. see the body of it I found many of urn that look just exactly like that so and then this piece right here must have been pretty cool because you can see all the lines they put through it you can see there's some type of bend in it you can see it comes here see and it came here they put these lines through it it's got some type of base, you can see the shadow underneath it. So that was probably pretty cool. But uh, this this little statue really, and uh, these little face mask or carved heads, I really found them to be interesting. And there looks to be another one right here. Yeah. This kind of stuff just doesn't happen naturally. You know, it's just not happening. I've been doing this too long. Alright guys. I want to thank you for everything. Keep up the good work. And I'll do the same. All I need you guys to do is to pound that like button. Share it. You know, get up on these forums. And uh, post this stuff up there. Alright. And uh, I haven't done this in a while, but... You know, when you guys get a chance, if you haven't, you know, if you're new, check out a couple of my friends, uh, Mars Anomaly, Mars Unmasked, um, What's Up in the Sky 37, Amazon KC, uh, I don't think I really forgot anybody, um, I think that's really about it, and uh, if you get a chance, uh, check out Amazon KC's latest video. It's not about Mars. I'm really not going to get into what it's about. But, uh, you know, she seems like a good, honest kid. Take a look at her latest video. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe you could do something. Alright. True Seekers out.